Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use headers and footers in Microsoft Excel. Okay, say you're ready to print and you've created all you need to create in your spreadsheet. So you go over, there's two ways. You can go over to the Windows button over here, go over to print, print preview, and then over here in the top left hand corner you could click page setup and you'll get the page setup box go over to header footer and here you can add a custom header by clicking custom header on the left you can write my name in the center you can write or not write anything you could choose which one of these you want to use and not use you can insert page number here insert page, no, number of pages in the document here the date time, a file path, a file name, and a sh the sheet's name, that's the worksheet's name, a picture from a file, and so on. And you could also mess with the font here. It's the formatting of the font. So we can change this font, make it bigger, change its color, click OK, and make that red and size 14 and let's click OK and that's a custom f header and you see up here that's up, up left and this is our top, top left and this is our top right now we could also add a footer the same way so this time we click custom footer this time let's put the page number the date and time in the middle and let us put a picture see how that works it'll prompt us to find the picture from our files which I don't really want to get into but click OK Okay, and you see the picture is way too big, so it's taking up the whole sheet. And you don't want that. So you want, if you ever want to you make any changes, go back into Page Setup Custom Footer, and you can make changes here. And if you're going to put a picture, and I'd recommend something small, like 200 by 200 pixels, maybe a little bit bigger, 300 by 300, so it doesn't come in and take up the entire sheet. For this example, I didn't have a uh, picture set up. So, let's get rid of that, but you can make the change. Click OK. And you see here is our page number. And here's our date and time. And you can put a space in between these when you're inputting them so that there is not any confusion. You see? How that changed okay so hope this was helpful in helping you set up to print uh, oftentimes in class you need to put your name and the class number and homework no assignment number in the header and footer and this is how you do it the other way to do it by the way before I forget is to get out of this print preview is to go to page layout ribbon and click on the page setup little drop box over here and you get the same menu system. Okay, and then you can go through and make changes as you wish. Okay? So, hope this was helpful. Make sure to watch my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer tricks tutorial videos. Subscribe and click on our sponsors' ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.